Hello, this is Sido. Welcome to katiatutorialcat.com and this is last video, the final, finally, that is the final one. This is a video 7 for the series Katia V5 pre training. Okay, now actually, I mean, I don't want to. Okay, I, I'm supposed to be finishing this as I promised. I'm supposed to be finishing um, all the design from the beginning to the end. I have finished up to maybe 85%, and I'm really, I apologize because the videos uh, is it's getting longer. So I just thought 85%. Uh, I think uh, that's good to complete. So you know, and today you will see some nice features also. So let's go ahead and continue where we started since last time. And again, if you have not seen the rest of the videos, please start it from the video one and you will see the design from the scratch to the end. And uh, hopefully uh, you will learn something and uh, you may like uh, the training that we will be concentrating on each feature and uh, how we do things. All right, let's go. Go ahead and do that. So now all right so all right last time we left over here so let's go to this sketcher and we're gonna make another sketch all right and uh, just make any circle around somewhere doesn't matter exactly where is it don't worry about it we're gonna make uh, I'll show you a cool uh, tricks where you can make uh, see the circles just on top of each other exactly by just using concentric um, you know just select that there and again don't worry about it uh, I'm just showing you what options that's available in here so now let me do the right way just click there and this will make it on top of each other basically they are the center of the middle one and center of the out, outside circle they are on top of each other that will make it exact uh, you know where it's showing there and let's make the radius and I will talk about the detail that in the training so and uh, just show you the differences okay okay now let's I'm just concentrate con concentrating okay I'm sorry okay I think I need some coffee or something all right let's go to the part design workbench now I will make a pad again on that circle see so this is how it looks like okay after I made that pad on top on each other okay all right so now it's what is missing is uh, we're gonna need to make uh, an edge fillet on on that circle that we just created Okay. No, actually, let's make draft. Okay, a draft. So this is cool, very cool, and I will, we will show the detail of this. Okay, don't worry about it now. See how it looks like. Nice, nice. What a nice thing. All right. So you may not notice how different is it. There is a draft on that area. So there is some kind of an angle. It's not, uh, it's not a direct uh, circle on top on each other. But let me just show you more. Let me just expand this thing, the, the angle. So you see how? See, just to show you how how different is it. But that's not what I needed anyway. See, the can you tell how it looks like? All right. So let me just change it back where it was. This is called draft, and there is a different ways to do this uh, right now. Okay, so we have uh, our draft is done. Now let's do an edge fillet now on that edge and this edge. Okay, and on the bottom, it's very hard to see. I just want to get that edge. I got it and I will do the same thing from the other one 
I'm selecting it at once. As I said before, it's nice to do at once. And because you just want to give one value of the of the edge fillet and it will change it. See? See how it looks now? Okay. Cool. Next will be this is the shading toolbar. Okay, we'll talk about on each one later. But I just want to show you yeah, how it looks like without the shading. You know, I just selected it without the shading. See how it looks like? But let's put it back where it was for now. If you double click on the eye toolbar, it goes back where it belongs. That's cool or it's cool too, right? Um, okay. Let's see something real quick. This is the shading part, okay? Uh, just double check it. Okay, now let's make a this. You have to select that. That was a chamfer, by the way. It's not edge fillet. Chamfer is, you see, it looks like an edge fillet, but this one a chamfer. And even the icon, they're pretty similar. And it's very hard. Um, and I'll tell you how you can differentiate. I know that was one of the testing, test uh, questions that I had on my certification. I knew it they will ask me but I got it so now this is I'm trying to make a hole right now okay a hole so this may be first video the first time we doing it so once you do that I'm just making sure that the hole goes at the middle of the circle so I just did uh, use that concentric thing so I just went back so I just choose the hole dimension of it see how it looks like the hole on the right now we're gonna do the same select that select the the, the sketcher and it, it appears as a point by the way the hole see once you do that so you see you go to the sketcher and you it looks like a point okay you just go to defined constraint and you do the concentric which is on top of each other with the center of the circle with the hole and it will give you exact um, hole that you are we need see how perfect is it nice now uh, what we need is uh, all right we almost done uh, hmm, let's do uh, all right let's do this Let's do the, the edge, edge fillet on this area. Okay. And this, select that. I'm selecting all. By the way, when you're selecting each edge, you have to keep holding your control uh, key, on your, key uh, on your laptop or in your, in your keyboard. Because otherwise, you know, you will not be able, you will only going to be able to do singles. Now let's do um, uh, shading. See now, shading with material. We have to select shading with material when we do, when we add our materials. Now, I'm just trying to show you how it looks like each one of this, okay? When you select this thing. Alright, let's, we're going to add, well, so let's just look around, see what we mean is saying or something. This is how it looks so far. Okay. So far so good. And see how long the tree is? Oh, we had a long trip, dude. Okay. Now let's put a material on this part. So you can put whatever material you like, like metals, uh, uh, you know, a silver gold uh, just whatever I'm gonna show you some of this um, how it looks like 
And before you do that, you have to have shading with material. And you can just drag and drop it. Drop in the body part. In the body part. Once you drag and drop it in there, and it will change um, your part to the what what you what material you have added. So let me show you here. Okay, let me just uh, so you can be clear and look at it much better. Look at it. So now you just click on the material. Okay, my icon, and you have different ways here. So you just okay, just put it aside so you can drag it and put it in the body part. See how it looks like? Nice, nice, just like reality, just like reality, and even shiny and cool thing. So now let me just delete that and uh, make another one. Just just put something for fun in there. Actually, that's the same one now. Let me let me delete that again. Let me put some other material, anything. I don't know exactly. Let me check. Uh, maybe this one. Uh, cool. What the hell is this? Nice. So this is. Uh, you can change whatever material you want. Uh, I mean, even you you can customize materials. By the way, this is something that Kitia comes with, and you can add your own material if you want. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comments send me email if you have questions suggestions technical problem I'm really good on technical problems so and I will be glad to help you I'll be happy to assist you on any problems on Katia installations problems uh, technical issues licensing issues anything you have with Katia I hopefully can help you all right see you around take care bye